Right here is an example that turned up in some of the whistleblower documents. This is the sparkling new Cherokee Lane Elementary School in Adelphi. And this building per square foot is the most expensive school built in Maryland history, according to documents brought to the attention of the Prince George's County Council by unnamed former employees. The documents show in some cases new schools in Prince George's projected to cost nearly double what they cost in other similar jurisdictions. A replacement for Suitland High School coming in at more than a quarter of a billion dollars. A similar size school in Baltimore County proposed at only 150 million. Meanwhile, tens of millions of dollars go unidentified in the budgets, according to a letter from concerned county council members who want to know where the money marked other is going. And the documents point out that the school system's building maintenance is the worst in Maryland, with only 14% of schools examined meeting standards. Today, several Prince George's County Council members voted to ask the state to send an inspector general to get to the bottom of it. Here's Council Member Ed Burroughs, a former member of the Prince George's County Board of Education. You know, we want a thorough, independent, outside investigation to get to get a better understanding of the full scope of this. You know, when you waste public dollars used for school system construction and that could be the difference between air conditioners being fixed in the summertime, heaters being fixed in the winter. Council member Crystal Oriata also voted for an investigation. It is horrible that we are spending twice as much for the same thing and really we're allowing people to bleed us dry. Burroughs said at the minimum he suspects incompetence but he said he's concerned about willful waste. There's been no immediate public response from the school system. A spokesman said the administration will take this up directly with the chairman of the county council. In Prince George's County, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.